Hi, I'm Teresa Martin. I teach biology at the College of San Mateo, and I'm going to be doing a demonstration on um, this uh, partial torso model to show um, what structures are visible. So, um, let's start with focusing on um, the blood vessels. So, if we look um, just here, we see this very large aorta. This is called the abdominal aorta. What we notice is that this bit of muscle here is a bit of the diaphragm, and the <coughs> abdominal aorta, which is part of the descending aorta, is going to come through that diaphragm to serve the um, abdominal contents. The very first vessel that, that you see in the abdominal aorta coming off to serve these structures would be called the celiac trunk. So this is representing the celiac trunk. Celiac trunk actually has three branches and only two are really shown here. So um, this one and this one, um, not super happy with calling them the common hepatic artery and the splenic artery, but those that might be what those are representing. Um, probably best to find another model for those branches of celiac trunk, but this does represent just the celiac trunk. Um, the second one down, so there's kind of three in a row that we're looking at that come anteriorly off of the abdominal aorta. This one is uh, representing the superior mesenteric artery, which is going to be serving mostly the um, superior intestines with blood. And then the lower one uh, is representing the inferior mesenteric artery, slightly smaller and serving um, the, mostly the lower intestines. This model is actually um, nice because it does show these two very small uh, gonadal arteries, which are sort of um, intertwined with the gonadal vein, as we see here. And those go down to serve the gonads, which would be the ovaries.